Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Kristen, and for the entire month of November, I've been working on a series here on my channel where I do a new look every weekday using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So we are getting down to the very end of the series here. We have today's look and tomorrow's look, and that'll finish up the entire series. But I've got a whole playlist linked down below if you want to check out all the other looks that I have come up with. Today's look is an inspiration. It's something that I seen while scoring through Instagram. I'll insert a picture now. I think it was from NYX. It might be from Tarte. I'm not really for sure. But the eye look that this person created just reminds me of sand. It looks like the beach and I just love it. I was really drawn to it. And I think we did a really good job recreating it today. Uh, you will notice that the original makeup look had a wing liner to it. Personally, I didn't like that on the look. I felt like it really took away from the look of being like sandy in the beach. And so I chose not to do that, but of course if you want to recreate it with a wing, you can definitely do that. But um, this is what we came up with. I, again, think we did a really good job, or I did a good job, I guess, <laughs> of recreating that original look. I've got a blue tongue. I'm sure you noticed. I was eating fruit snacks. Um, anyways, <laughs> if you guys want to go ahead and see how I created this look, just keep watching. I'm going to start off today's look by priming my eyes using the Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Primer. Using the white shade in the palette, I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer by applying this all over my eyelid and up towards my brow. Setting the eyeshadow primer is going to just allow the other shadows to apply and blend a lot more smoothly. Taking the lightest matte brown in the palette, we're going to apply this into our crease and this is going to be our transition color. Taking this shimmery brown color, we're going to apply this into our crease as well, right on top of the matte brown we just applied, but we're going to keep this a little bit closer to the eyelid. Taking this gold color, we're going to apply it dry to our eyelid. Today we're only going to use it dry. I know a lot of times that I like to foil the shadow because it really gives it a beautiful metallic, almost a metal look. It's gorgeous when it's wet. But we're really trying to create the look of sand today. And though sand has a little bit of a shimmer to it, it's obviously not gold. So we're just going to keep this dry and hopefully it will give us the effect of looking like sand. As much as I love this shadow, it's still one that you have to work with to really build up the color payoff. So get in there and just pack your brushes and just work with it. It's definitely going to take a couple of coats to really get the color pigment that you want. And also don't be afraid to work that back into the socket area. Really get that blended in with the transition colors. Now I'm going to pop off camera really quickly, do the rest of my makeup, and then we will be back to finish up the eyes. Using a black eyeliner, I'm going to tightline my upper waterline. This is going to give my lashes the look of being thicker. Using a flush colored pencil, I'm going to be rimming my bottom lash line. This is going to help waken up the look of my eyes, make them look brighter and whiter, and just overall more awake. Taking the same shimmery brown color that we used in our crease earlier, we're going to pack this onto a smudge brush and then we're going to use this just underneath of the bottom lashes. And I'm going to be using the Essence Volume Style Mascara on my top and bottom lashes to finish up the look. Okay, so this is it for today's look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the way that it turned out. I really like it. I think it's really pretty, but it's also really um, 
something you could wear every day but it's also pretty enough that you could wear out if you're going to like a holiday party or something it's got a little bit of shimmer and shine to it which is really nice for the holidays uh, remember that we have one more look to go for this whole series so definitely hit that little subscribe button down below if you want to see tomorrow's video and stay tuned for next month because I'm going to be uploading something every single day for the month of December and you don't want to miss that so thank you so much for hanging out with me again I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in tomorrow's bye